Hello everyone and welcome back to Inscription. This is episode three. Last time we had to reassess our situation. We had a couple of deaths and we worked our way back up to the Prospector and we find ourselves once again at the beginning of the wetlands. Uh, we will be traversing through this map. This is our current, uh, our current deck. So we've got some strong cards, which is nice. Um, however, this moose buck would be really good if we had a, um, a black goat in our actual deck. We luckily had one with us um, in the previous in the previous episode. I miss it. I miss when I had one in my deck. I do miss my original deck when I had the Apocalypse Death card. It was it was working out so well. And I let it all go. And our stoat is looking more and more rectangular every time that we die. Stinkbug has transformed into something after we released a wolf from a cage. It's all getting weird. It's all strange. But let's continue. Um, let's continue. Okay. Uh, looks like... I don't know what that symbol means. It looks like it might be exclusive to the wetlands because it's a new one that we haven't seen before. Um, but I'm tempted to get some more cards for my journey. So I think we're going to go this way and then head to the bonfire. This is the choice that I am making for myself. Will I regret the choices I make? Probably. The monstrous grizzly. Its form speaks enough of its efficacy. Well, all right. These are all mighty expensive cards. Um, do I have... See, I'm not big on the bones yet. I'm not big on the bone cards. I've just got stink bugs. So Rat King doesn't really serve a huge purpose for me right now. Grizzly is going to be really hard to get out that I just feel like I'll be putting myself at quite the disadvantage in terms of cards because most of my cards need sacrifices. All of my cards need sacrifices except for Stinkbug which needs bones. So find myself in a rock and a hard place but I will get the River Snapper and we will proceed to the bonfire where we are going to strengthen the card. Cackling fire lit the starving faces of a group of survivors. We have not food, one said, but perhaps one of your creatures will join us, enhance its health, said another. <laughs> oh, this is a plus two. This is a plus two this time. Oh, shit. I'm thinking of giving it to Mole Man because we can make Mole Man tough and also he can damage and also he's a burrower and also he's a defensive man and he's only one sacrifice i think we could i think that would be nice don't you think give him two damage instead of making one of these boys stronger let's do that mole man prepare to be burned oh no Did I miss? Did I misunderstand? I think I misunderstood. I thought he was gonna get two attack. Maybe. Oh, maybe the plus two symbol was for the wrong thing. This is the only time where I ever think that this is appropriate to do is when I have misunderstood. And I have misunderstood. So let me let me just go back. Is the only times that I think it's acceptable is if I've misunderstood. If I... Oh, okay, so it's the heart plus two. All right, I need to actually use my eyeballs more. Um, all right. I'm glad that it does save in case I'm an idiot like this and I can do this. I kind of feel like that might be almost the intention because sometimes things aren't explained to your face. They, you know, you just kind of learn as you go along. So... That makes a little bit more sense for me. Um, yeah. I was, I just, I saw the plus two and I just went, yes, plus two attack. You know, I just went straight for it without even thinking. Um, but I'll learn, I'll be, I'll be more observant. Uh, in that case, what I would like to, oh, 
what would I like to increase? You're going to submerge anyway, so... I should make Pablo stronger. What do you reckon? Should I make Pablo stronger? I'm going to make Stinkbug uh, stronger with health. There you go. The health of the Stinkbug was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Yeah, like if I, you know, go down a pathway and I commit to a decision and I know what I'm doing, I'm not going to go, oh, now nah, I changed my mind and go back. It's only happened this couple of times where I've misunderstood the situation. Let us engage in a match. Oh yeah, I've got the squirrel with the triple sacrifice. Oh, I forgot about the triple sacrifice idol. Maybe I should have got that grizzly after all, baby. Yeah, should have got that grizzly after all. That's all right. Uh, let's throw down. What do we got? We've got two kingfishers and a beehive. Bees within. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health, airborne. I get a bee for killing the beehive? Or it's just the way that this is written that he will get a bee in his hand. I don't think I would get a bee. That doesn't make sense. Okay, we got a couple of kingfishers that submerge themselves. I can also submerge myself and we can have a river snapper as well. Let's sacrifice and let's put a river snapper down. which they now submerge. Um, I will pull out Squirrel. And we are going to put Lewis down. And I'm also going to now put Stinkbug down. Oh, I should have put that. Okay, good play. Okay, supportive. Oh, I do get a B. What the hell? Okay, I do get a B. Interesting. How can you take out Airborne again? Oh, Pablo. I mean, how do you take out Submerged? Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Opposing creatures attack its only directly. It's just that we get direct attacks. Can Pablo, can you sacrifice a two blood creature to get, no, you can't. Well, we can just throw the bee down. And then I'm gonna have, I'm gonna sacrifice the bee in the river snapper to get Pablo in here. With another B. Ah, I did not, I'm, I'm, that was a mistake. That's okay. We'll put the B down for now and everyone can attack. fine because I won that was not efficient but it was a win is a win a win is a win is that a dinosaur card or a, what okay um I'm curious ah oh, reptile card right the skink we've had a skink before we will have a skink again nice with the with the tail when dealt with okay I have no pelts. Oh no, this is the woodcarver. The decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. 
She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. Oh, we can have the... Bees within. Oh, okay, we can turn everything into a bee, or you can have everything that can block airborne. I think I'll take this one, but we're gonna use this one still. Absolutely. Without another word, the woodcarver was gone. So that's just our opportunity to like trade it or change it over. Everything's stinky, oh my god. Everything's stinky. Okay. Stinky, stinky, stinky kingfishers, which means everything that goes to attack is gonna be weak. Alright, well, let's put our squirrel down. And we're gonna start with. We're gonna start with the wolf. We're gonna start off strong with the wolf, baby. Stop it. Stop telling me it's a bad play. I can't do anything with these submersibles. Oh, this river rod is coming in. I just have to outnumber them. The river snapper. Go for the win, baby. We'll just go straight for the straight for the gullet. Um. Oh, this is interesting because I have no idea what that does, but I also really want to see what the mushroom thing's all about. The elk, the flighty elk. It moves after attacking. And corpse maggots. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing the sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. Oh. So you don't even need the five bones if it's in your hand. That's cool. So just if anything dies. I'm gonna get the elk though. We're gonna we're gonna elk it up. Because with our squirrels with the triple sacrifice. It's all good. You found yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through a thick cloud of spores. We are the mycologists, yes? Yes. And we are performing our experiments far from, uh, from, uh, we are not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock, yes? We will need two of the same creatures. One for each of us. Oh, oh dear, you, you don't. You have no duplicate cards. T take one of ours. We will use it next time. Oh, okay. I love the little mushroom. Okay. Duplicate time. Let's go for, uh, let's go for... Hmm. Hmm, let's go for two skinks. No, mm -mm. yeah. I'm loving the, the characters that we're meeting here. I hope that I'm choosing appropriate voices. It seems like fitting. I don't know. I'm just kind of going with whatever comes to my head in terms of the voices there. We'll see if I can even remember them. I can remember certain ones like the prospector. I'm going to probably end up conflicting my voices at some point, but we'll try. <laughs> we'll try our best. It is funny though. I just love it. I love that he's just putting on a bunch of characters for us. Alright, Pablo, you ready? Pablo's gonna give us the win. Oh, interesting. A flying bat. A coyote. We're gonna do Pablo. Get in here, Pablo. You know what? 
We're gonna cash in on the squirrel too. We're cashing in on the squirrel. And we're going for we're going for the stoat. Get in here. We're going for two. Straight up. We're going for one hit KO. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. <coughs> that took me by surprise. I didn't expect the, the one hit KO. <laughs> what was that? That was that was five to win? Just in one go there? There you go. Ah, our turn at having a kingfisher, eh? Ringworm. The underappreciated ringworm, its value is not readily apparent. Its value is not readily apparent. That's, this would come in handy at some point for something, I would assume, unless it's just literal garbage. We are actually gonna we're gonna get the kingfisher though. That's too tempting to pass up. The woodcarver once again, and we're getting close to our next our next boss at the end of the wetlands. We've we've done good, guys. We've gotten further in the wetlands this time, and I've, I'd like to thank my squirrel. The triple sacrifice squirrel is insane. The decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. Everything can be whatever the hell that is. Herb. And that one. Um. Mm. Honestly, nothing can beat. Nothing can beat what we've got. I'm going to get this, but. Nothing. But then it doesn't even matter because this we've only got the squirrel. So we're still going with this. This is our one to, to have. Goodbye, ancient woman who says nothing. Oh my god, okay. So the, the fisherman of the wetlands. So we've obviously got to do a pirate voice. <clears throat> Spoiling my own voice reveal. God damn, the pressure's on. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. Uh, uh, this music is great. Maybe not pirate. I'm just one man. Putting on voices is hard. I am the angler. Go fish. Oh, Kingfisher versus Kingfisher. Let's go. I don't have much choice in what I've really got on me. Which fish, mate? Ah, oh, Jews. Wait, what's he doing? What are you doing? Why is he why is he hooking me? Should I? Ooh, what if I sacrifice? What if? What if I sacrifice? Then that's no longer marked, right? Can I get away with that? I kind of doubt it. Can I sacrifice the smoke? Pressure fish, easy choose. Oh, he's changing. Oh shit, which means if I put the wolf down, he'll go for... He'll go for the wolf. Okay, so he's... Oh. Interesting. So he's just... He's just gutting cards. He's fishing. So he's now going to take my card? Oh no! He's stealing my cards! Mine now! Go fish! He's stealing my cards! 
We're on a race against time. And then if I kill that, then he's just gonna get four bones randomly. God damn it. All right, now it's just a race against time. I just have to beat this guy. Maybe I should take, pop my pop my eyeball out. Don't fish me, mate. Mmm, stale fish. Hard chews. fish. Easy choose. So he's going to go for this. Take new fish. Easy. Take fish. Go fish. This guy... Yes, the tail, right? Shit. Maybe that was not a good idea for me to give him that. Oh no, he's gonna take my wolf. Uh, Mole Man. Okay, hold on. He's gonna... Ah, oh, but that means he'll take my Mole Man. And that means when an empty space will be struck, he's gonna move to that space. It's like a terrible idea for me to allow him to have this card. But then he's going to take my wolf. Oh, he's going to take my mole man. And then I'm just going to have to work down his health the whole time. Don't kill me, Mr. Angler, please. I have such an attachment to my cards right now. Oh, dude, no. The temptation to pop out my eyeball for this. But then what if it's all for naught? Because then I've still got another round. The eye's coming out. Oh, the eye's coming out. I'm putting it in my favor. This round is over. I gave you an eye for that. Go fish. Oh shit, what's happening? Oh, I still have my cards. But now we've got bait buckets instead. And I'm missing an eye. I can put Mole Man down, but I don't know if that's a good choice. Everyone's going to attack a, a bait bucket, except for the Kingfisher. Lewis. Maybe I'll go for Lewis and to replace the Kingfisher. That turned into a great white. Oh no, and it, oh no! And they submerge. How do we beat that? Oh no. How the hell do we even, how do we beat this guy? I'm on an even more of a race against the clock now. I can't defeat that stuff. <coughs> I can't defeat that shit. I just have to protect. 
We've got to put down Mole Man just to protect against this shit. But he can't even attack. Friendly, I had bone cards. Well, this is where flying comes in handy because then you don't attack the bait at all. It's a good thing we kept the Kingfisher then. We could still, we could win. I think we can win. I think we can still win. It's close, but I think we can win here. Yes! Oh my god! Oh, it's worth cutting my eyeball out! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, look at all my bone tokens. Need a light. That was so close, dude. Your reward. Angler just got angled, baby. Alright, what do we get? Ouroboros, the eternal serpent. Death strengthens it forever. Oh my god. Cool. Ureuli. I think we've seen Ureuli already, right? The four sacrifice, seven, seven. We could almost just do that with one screw. Oh, another mole man. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. Oh my god. Gross. We could just make them constant. When it perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. And then you could just sacrifice for more. This has potential, right? I'm taking Ouroboros. Because I love the card. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Do I get my eye back? Oh, okay. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Here, a bit of bit of bit of surgery, mate. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, I get a replacement eye. Okay, I've gotta go for the glowing one, right? Or are you baiting me into getting a glowing one? I'm going the glowing one. Go with your gut. Or in this case, your magical eye? Whoa! Better? Find salvation in the cuckoo clock. I knew that, it, like, we were being drawn to the magical eye. Okay. Dude, this game is so weird in the best way, and I, I love it. I love how this whole thing works. I love how seamless it is, right? Where it's like, this game has things where... Death is not a game over, but it's like, in fact, you kind of almost want to because it pushes the story of the game forward. Um, you want to do the thing where you remove an eye because it gives you something that happens after or something like this happens. Like you want to actually engage in those behaviors and not go, oh, we want to save that or something. I'm going like, nah, let's let's do it. Let's take the risk. And I think it is incredible how you've got like the, the cards that are talking to you and like getting you to do stuff as well it's not just a random card playing game there's so much more going on in the background and it's so intriguing it's just right up my alley of like weird stuff find salvation in the kaku clock i knew that that was going to come up at some point because it's an interactive thing however i need more clues maybe we can look around now that we've got a magical eye better Regardless, the choice is final. Nice, guys. We're out of the wetlands. You considered one of the anglers catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. What's next? Let me think. A frigid gust of wind billowed, unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. To the snow line. Okay, well, we're going to get up as is uh, as is normal here. And we're going to take a look around. Oh, there we go. Nice. All right, magical eye. 
there's something here. And something here. So there's stuff all over. Take that. Okay, let's have a look. What's going on with the clock? We've got three different hands here. Um... Let's see if I can actually identify which hand is which. Oh, they fit in there perfectly. Stunted wolf, take the film roll before he sees it. Now! What are you doing over there? Turn to face me. What are you up to over there? I almost turned around. Like, I actually genuinely almost turned around um, just out of fear, and then I saw the film roll because I thought that I had to go somewhere else for the film roll just there. I, would like, panicked so hard. Uh, hello? Ooh, what happens now if I die? He's got no film to take a photo for a death card. And we've got the stunted wolf um, that was being spoken about. The other soul. Cool. Okay. Shall we see what... Okay, this is... We haven't been on this symbol before. So let's see what this is, because I thought that this was... Like, it looks like a skull in, like, a water, so I thought it was a wetlands thing, but let's have a look. <coughs> oh, it's this one. Hang on. Uh, this is the trial thing, right. The trial of kin. Two of the three drawn cards must be kin to pass. Trial of wisdom. Must have at least three sigils among them to pass. And trial of blood. Cost at least four blood combined to pass. Uh, I think we're actually likely to be able to win any of these. A lot of our cards have sigils. A lot of them are kin, wolf, beastly boys. Um, and then a lot of them are good on the sacrifices. We're going to go for the blood. Let the trial of blood begin. Ah! Oh, thank God. Fucking stink bug. You always ruin everything. <laughs> Three from the moose buck and two from the elk. For a total of five. God damn it, Stingbug. Almost ruined everything. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Touch of death. When it damages another, that one perishes. Another moose buck, but this one can defend against the flyers. Well, the thing is with the submersible river snapper is that makes his whole defense thing redundant anyway. I think the porcupine with the touch of death is a really good one because it, it doesn't matter how much defense it's got, it's gone. So we're going for the we're going for the death touch porcupine because that's metal as hell. I don't know what this is going to be, though. But we should get more items. I don't know what that is, but we're going to go here. We're going to replenish our items. The pitiful opossum. Frozen opossum. What does it do? A frozen opossum is created in your hand. It's defined as zero power, five health. Frozen away. So it's just a nice little free defense. We can just take however many that we want until it fills up our space, right? And we've got none at the moment, yeah? Oh yeah, it changes each time. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh no. You can't use that. Failure. To the user, nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. Why would you give it to me? 
Why would you give it to me? It Nothing will happen. It has no use. Why is it there? Why is it there? It looks so sad. I need a ma I need it. It's not a failure to me. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Let's see if they're telling the truth or not. If it actually does nothing. <laughs> I'm taking the failure with me. Oh, everything does damage to me. That is an elky boy. Okay. I ought to thank you. How has it been? It has been quite bad. I am trapped in the body of a stoat. In the paper of a card. I see that. And I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Go on. Our player friend here, they already hold the key. So we've got film, that's the key. The stoat is transforming into something that's like a wind-up thing. What? I feel bad for my stoat. I don't understand it. Okay. These elk fawn, they're going to grow up so fast. Uh, let's see. I'm so tempted to do, see what this failure does. Should we just do the drop the failure immediately and see what happens? Let's see if it lives up to nothing happening. I am serious. You cannot use that. There is no possible use for it. I'll place it on that shelf over there for now. My advice? Avoid it. Oh, you, okay. All right, it's on a shelf somewhere. All right, buddy. All right. I'll remember this. Oh, yeah, they're going to move over, aren't they? Okay, let's go for the submersible stoat to start. Okay. All right, we're going to kill these fawn. I should have killed. I should have tried to kill both of them, shouldn't I? Here we are. We'll just kill one. And that one has now become an elk. Oh shit. Yeah, okay. It's actually potentially a problem. Stunted Wolf is going to die next turn. Unless I use it as a sacrifice. It's not going to do anything if I let it attack. So we're just going to sacrifice it for the Mole Man to defend against the Elk's attacks. Oh yeah, shit, it moves. Oh, but if there's an empty space, the burrower will go towards it. Yes, nice. Nice! It blocked both of them. Hell yeah. Ooh, okay, Moose Buck. You are getting summoned next turn. A little rabbit. That damage should carry over and wipe out both of them. And then we'll summon the Moose Buck next turn. I almost, uh, I almost drew from the wrong hand and messed that up completely. Oh, you've got your own moose buck coming in. That 
That stout's almost dead. Was that not a win? Damn. I thought that we were so close to the win there. Alright, Stoat is dead next turn. Lewis is dead if he even attacks it anyway. Oh, actually, yeah. Stoat's gonna die, and then Moosebuck is gonna come in. <coughs> um this is the this is the great chance where you would go for the frozen opossum. I should take some teeth out. This is just a normal adventure. God damn it. Where's Stinkbug at lately? We have not drawn Stinkbug in so long. I think I might be able to get the... I don't know how f far away it is, but if this Moosebug attacks with three, it might be able to win on this turn. And if it doesn't, we're in trouble. Yes, that was the win. Good. I was hoping that that was the win. I didn't have to pull my teeth out. My pelts are clean. We got teeth, baby. I have a free one. All right. Now, I hope that I can actually do stuff, something with a pelt in this life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure. One shy of the golden pelt, which kills me. Damn it. Damn it. One shy. Let's get the... Let's... <coughs> let's get him. Let's get him. Thanks for your patronage. Now we need to go to the person that can actually do the stuff with the pelts. And I can't remember who that is. We got, we got many a card now. But now we can put those pelts will end up in the in the match, won't they? Alright, to the bonfire we go. Okay, this is a plus one attack. Do what you must. Please no and if you must. Let's see. This time, we could actually give Mole Man an attack if we wanted to, instead of just being the defender. So he could be a burrower with good defense, but he could also do some damage. I'm actually thinking I want to give the Ouroboros the attack and start making my Ouroboros stronger. Um, I'm, but I'm wondering if all the new... if the I, With the Ouroboros comes back to my hand, I'd assume it would also be stronger as well, right? We haven't pulled it yet. Let's, let's, uh... There's no need in making the porcupine stronger. That would be pointless. It's a tough choice sometimes. I kind of want to go for either Ouroboros or the Kingfisher, because the Kingfisher can just whisk away at them. Let's go for the Ouroboros. We're going to make that stronger. By two. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your Ouroboros. All right, another match. <coughs> another match. Oh, the moose buck straight away? Okay, goddamn rabbit pelt. I want to find the pelt person and sell those this time. Alright, two elk fawn. We will deal with those elk fawn in that case. With moose buck straight up. For a, for a three. Oh shit, they moved away. That's okay. Now if I use the rabbit pelt as a sacrifice, I don't, that doesn't get rid of the pelt forever, does it? Like I should, I would still have it in my collection of cards, I would assume. Oh, 
<clears throat> the porcupine. We've got our porcupine. We're gonna do it. You can't draw blood from a rabbit pelt. No, shit. Damn it. I've just put it on the field totally unnecessarily as like a defense now. I've ruined my plan. Oh no. Oh shit. I should have done a squirrel. I think I win anyway. If it's five to win and that's one and this is about to do three damage, I think I'm about to just get a win. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> the misplay uh, was for. Don't. No need to panic. No need to panic. Oh, and it's the pelt guy. All right. Are your pelts clean? Hair pelts. Oh. Okay. Let's see. <gasps> The black goat. Could it be time to go for my grizzlies? What does magpie do? When a card bearing the citrus is played, you may search your deck for any card and take it in your hand. Oh my god. Does that mean I can grab two with my two rabbit pelts? Yes. All right, we're getting the magpie. We can scry a, a whole ass card from our hand. Our deck, sorry. Um, the black goat almost becomes, like, it's definitely useful, but with our current idol, it's nowhere near as appealing because our current squirrel idol is just really, every squirrel is a black goat with no sacrifice. So I think we might actually get the grizzly. The grizzly. Nice. Oh, wolf belts too. Exquisite. Oh, wolf pelts are soul-infused cards. Oh, there's an alpha in here. Should we should we start putting stuff in in the bones? Oh, dude. Okay. The fucking great white that is unkillable. Oh, dude. What? We have to get that. There's no way that you would look. Three sacrifices. That's one squirrel for me. Four attack. Submersible unkillable if it ever if it does die how do you kill the i guess you can kill it with um if it does like the porcupine the the spiky damage it can take damage but if it's submersible if on the off chance it gets like killed or removed from the board by something maybe this guy can pull some weird fuckery we will get the card back the alpha is the one where it makes cards next to it gain one power. But then if it gets attacked, <laughs> my enemy gets bees. <coughs> my enemy gets bees. We can get a more powerful cockroach. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> We're going to go for the Great White. You have my gratitude. I forgot which voice we gave to the Pelt one, because uh, the Pelt person uh, was has been away for so long. Um, let's see here, mates. We can go for Bag. Or Idol. That. Encounter. Mushrooms. We're gonna go this way. Another attack increase. <laughs> if it must be, choose wisely. A nope, nope, nope. The stoat really doesn't like getting its attack increased. All right. Should we go for the the Ouroboros again? Okay. Let's see. We need we need to we need to. We need to spread it out a little bit. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good, but our deck is getting larger and larger, which means uh, we get, the one the cards that we do want are less likely to be pulled out. 
Can we remove cards or get rid of our cards just straight up if there's ones that you just don't want anymore, I wonder? I'll, ta I'll take a look after this. Um, Pablo, you're doing me a great service. Joy, I'm sorry that your card died without ever it getting used. <laughs> it's just the way that the game plays. It's my fault for dying. Um, these are already quite powerful. Let's make... We're going to make Kingfisher one stronger. Just so if this one's there, flying and submersing itself. It's going to do two damage now instead of one. All right, into a match that we go. Boulders this time. Honestly, I owe all of my success to this idol. Like, oh shit, okay. Big strong mole man, big strong moose buck coming in. This changes things dramatically. This does change things. Well, the good thing is the mole man can't do anything to us. And if we leave the moose buck alone, I think it's eventually going to end up pushing that boulder across into the other boulder. So that'll just remove that whole thing. All right, let's go here. Let's start it off with the wolf. A nice three. Oh great, well now I'm just pointlessly attacking a boulder. That is now just going to be nothing, which is hilarious. And that moose buck is going to do three damage. Oh yeah, Mo no, Mole Man moves, doesn't it? Mole Man moves. Oh god. Um, shit, man. Skunk. This is, this could potentially, this could be tragic. This could indeed be tragic. Well, Moosebuck is definitely killing my elk next turn, and I'm only going to be doing two damage to that. It's not really going to happen, but I'm not sacrificing my wolf as well. Oh, man. <clears throat> okay. Oh, no. Elk survived because it moved over. Oh, no. This is not looking good. Wolf will kill Skunk next turn. Elk will kill Boulder next turn. Then I can actually place something. I'm going to take three hits next turn. And that... Ugh, I might just lose. I may just lose. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to ensure that I can get a card that I need right now. All right. And I think the card that I want... Ugh, this is actually quite hard for me to choose because there's obviously a very correct choice here. But my brain is not thinking. If I get the porcupine right now... I can sacrifice, put the porcupine down and kill the moose buck immediately. And then I can hope that I'll pull out either the Grizzly and the Great White next turn. We're going to go for the insta-kill Porcupine. Shiny. And Porcupine is going in. Thank you so much, Magpie. Okay, and now I've got an actual space. Got a mole man of my own. Alright, that mole man's going down next turn. That mole's going down next turn. That wolf goes down to a one. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, lost, lost my wolf. Maybe I should have actually sacrificed the wolf for the mole man. That's okay. That elk is gonna go... We're back in the game, baby. Back in the game. Porcupine did what needed to be done. I need to get this out of here for now because I just need to make sure that this can defend against anything because I need to protect my goddamn potential loss here. And then we'll save our squirrel for the next draw. Cool. That elk is now dead. Pablo, baby. Welcome to the team, buddy. You're in. You're in. Balancing out the scales, dude. Ouroboros is here now, too. Okay. That horn, that, uh, that trunk horn will try, but it will fail. Let's go. Yes. All right. I think that we've got a win. We've got a win on our hands, everybody. There we go. We made a good play to get the insta-kill porcupine. Insta-kill porcupine. Let's go. That killed that huge beastie boy. Let's go. We win. Look at all those teeth. The correct play. Insta-kill porcupine. Nice. Oh, the bird. We could start putting some birds in there. We've got the magpie, which is actually super, super useful. The covetous magpie can fetch any card in your deck. We now have two. We have a second magpie. All right. Now, having a look at this, can we remove cards? No, we just have it. Okay. Is there like a... Is this... There's no potential to, like, lose it. Is there, like, a maximum amount of cards you can have in your deck? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we've got 20 cards. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we've got 20. Is there a maximum amount of cards? Let me check the, uh... Is that in the in the rules? Is, is there anything in the rules about... Like, how many cards we can have? Or are these just all the rules? I still, uh, I still don't want to read all these because there's so much that I haven't even seen. I don't want to get, I don't want to have items spoiled before I see them. I like seeing them first. God damn it. All right. What are you doing with this? <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Interesting. The magic, the magic eye does say to keep it sealed. I feel like I should trust the magic eye because it's helped me out so far. Oh, now, now I don't know. All right, we'll keep it sealed for now. We're approaching our next boss. Let's do the infusion. Let's see, what have we got? We have really not pulled stink bug at all in so long. All right, let's see. Oh, you know what? Now, I kind of like having the Ouroboros card because it looks so cool, but I, I'm like, we could give unkillable to something else, you know? Or we could give Ouroboros... We could give Ouroboros something. Oh, dude, if we gave Ouroboros, like, the, the ability to search the deck... You put Ouroboros down, it gets killed, goes back to our hand, put it down again, pull out another card from our deck. Seems like a pretty good idea. 
Another one that you could do is we could get rid of Mole Man and we could have Ouroboros take on these as well to be a great defender and unkillable reptile. Also, God, there's, there's choices here. I think I might do that. Because then we can just keep throwing down Ouroboros with those sacrifices. I either think I want to give Ouroboros Mole Man's abilities or Magpies. Oh, actually, maybe we shouldn't give it Magpies because that'll turn it into a flying one and then it'll rarely ever get killed. All right, we're going to give... We're going to see what happens. Now, th this will be a test as well because I'm not sure... Will both of Mole Man's abilities go over? I'd assume so. Yeah, both go over. Ouroboros has now become an unkillable defender of a card. Okay, I'm nervous. We're at our third boss now. So we've taken on the Prospector, the Angler, and now what looks to be the Hunter? Bear trap and some knives. I'm going to guess that it's called the Hunter. And we've got one life to do so. The smoke is such a useless card for us at the moment, uh, except to get a stink bug out there, which we rarely draw because we're, we're not very bone heavy in our deck. A man stood before you. A man you recognized immediately. Oh, it's the... It's the pelt man? It was the trapper. Oh, so it's the trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. He's the boss. <coughs> Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. <coughs> oh my god, the floating knives! The floating knives! You took the film roll. Is that correct? My plan nears its moment of truth. But you must defeat him first. Okay, we have to actually... Okay, we have to win. Strange frog and leaping traps. Oh my god, what is going on here? We've got ones that can defend against all sorts of flying. This music is absolutely incredible. I love it so much. Frozen creature is placed opposite to an empty space. This will move to that empty space. It'll take the hits, though. Okay. Pablo, 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 Pablo. Do we want you or do I want to pull a card immediately? I think I want to pull a card immediately. Now, this one will block my attack. But then we can remove it from the board at the very least. The only reason I think I want to pull the porcupine is because the porcupine is a very, very easy summon. Like, I can put it over... I can sacrifice the magpie immediately for it. We're going to pull out the... The Great White this time. Oh, it does kill the magpie. I was thinking that would happen. I've been given a wolf pelt. Okay. Oh, shit. Hang on. All right. I've been given pelts. Gotcha. Okay, this is... Oh. So I can throw the pelts down as a defensive measure. 
Alright, I see what's going on here. Shit, hang on. Oh, it's unkillable. It is unkillable. So the Great White, when killed, will come back, but ugh. That is a problem. trap the, okay the trap does kill the great white but it does come back immediately and i get a pelt okay there you go nice so i can defend there we go baby We should win this round here. Actually. I think I'm going to leave the squirrel there. And I'm going to keep the stunted wolf in my hand for next round. So we'll kill that. There we go. Then we'll go and we'll win this round. There we go. Alright, round one. Exquisite pelts, but the cycle must continue. Oh, our board wasn't cleared. Cool. I was always just because of the Oh. Okay. He switched over. Let's trade. The only reason I didn't put another card on the board is because last time with the prospector, he like wipes our board, remember? So I was just like being cautious. Let's trade. Oh my fucking god, what the fuck? Okay, hang on. Powerful cards. I will accept only the finest pelts for them. Trade for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. What the fuck? I've only got one wolf pelt because oh my god so I, if i saved my pelts that i was being given that whole time i'd be able to pull a bunch of cards oh i didn't i was trying to click off the dialogue you mother oh no i was trying to click off the dialogue because i clicked on the wolf pelt and it didn't work shit i was gonna pick the grizzly because we were gonna protect against the flying moose buck or the flying bloodhound. Can I? No, I wish this game would say, are you sure, sometimes, because I misclick all the time. That is a that is a really bad misclick, dude. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Really bad misclick. No, I've ruined it with that. That hurts. This is really... This is really bad. Actually... Actually... Wait. Because I've removed that card, my Great White will do four damage next turn. 
I think we can just win immediately. I'm taking my teeth out. I'm ripping my teeth out for one. I think taking that one tooth out and allowing the great white to attack wins me the round immediately. I think we're okay. Just in case though, I'm still obviously gonna do this because if it doesn't work, then I'm screwed. So I'm gonna put some cards down, <laughs> but I think we're okay with that in mind. We should, we should win. Oh no, the horn moved. Oh no, the horn moved. Oh shit. Never mind. Damn it. That did not work. That did not work. Oh, the fucking card moved. Why did the card move? Oh, I should have been paying attention to that. That was going to be, uh, that was, that should have been such a smart victory, except for the fact that the fucking card moved. This is lacking the power of foresight because if I held onto all those pelts, I would have gotten so many more cards off the board. And I'm annoyed that I picked the wrong card off the board. Death card. I am so pissed off there. That's that that sucks. <sighs> that sucks. Sleepy Mika. Any good card has a portrait. You have no film. Goodbye. Oh, you do have film. Never mind. Uh, I had to win in order for the wolf's plan to go ahead. And we have died. Not much for trading that last one. Are you prepared to make the right deals? Ooh. What are you looking at? Keep your eyes on me. A gift from the angler. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. The hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. That foul, stunted wolf. You really want such a creature in your deck. The sight of it does try my temper, but it has been dealt, so it stands. So I've got the wolf, the stink bug, the stoat, and a bullfrog. And we find ourselves back once again at the very beginning, because we died. And that was incredibly defeating because I felt like I was on top of the world. That triple sacrifice idol was the greatest thing that could have ever happened to me. Oh, and I don't have the eye anymore, obviously, because I'm a new person. <sighs> oh, man. Should we unseal the bottle? <laughs> Damn, dude. That one brings me much pain. And again, we find ourselves at a death. And again, we find ourselves at the end of an episode. So thank you so much for joining me for Inscription today for episode three. Unfortunately, we are starting again, <laughs> once again. You do get things that help you along the way each time. Uh, I felt so good about that deck that we had that I'm so mad that I made a misclick because... This game has the thing where it's like with dialogue, you have to click to remove the dialogue. You can't interact with anything until the dialogue is gone. And then I clicked again because I thought that there was more dialogue, but it just picked a card immediately. So I'll just try and be more careful about where I'm clicking, I suppose. 
that was a really unfortunate loss uh, otherwise because I would have taken a much different card off the field in with that one in mind but it's okay it's okay I am crying internally very much so internally almost externally but next time we will take on the prospector the angler and maybe the trapper once again we'll see if we make it through we should be able to do that we'll make it through next time thank you so much for joining me today and i'll see you next time